All right, we got another amazing video, Mega Colossus Supercomputer Power, not only in Giga Texas, but also at Memphis, Tennessee, representing Memphis, Tennessee. Now we're gonna play the video, shout outs to the Tesla space, but hold on real quick. I'm gonna read over the monologue and get active. Elon Musk's team in XAI and Tesla have achieved remarkable milestones in building advanced AI supercomputing facilities and data center, demonstrating innovative in both speed and efficiency. Now let's talk about that XAI supercomputer in Tennessee. You know what? I'm going to leave it to the guy in the video to talk about it. But what I would add to the conversation is Tesla's data center at Gigafactory. Now, this is in Austin, okay? So Tesla simultaneously constructed a large-scale AI data center within its Gigafactory. This facility, liquid-cooled for efficiency, is designed to handle 130 megawatts of power initially, scaling to 500 with future expansion. The data center will incorporate both Tesla's proprietary AI hardware and NVIDIA GPUs, and then blending Tesla's automation needs for cutting edge AI capabilities. Now, allow the video to play because we're gonna hop into what they pulled off in Memphis, Tennessee, which is an amazing feat in itself. This is why we invest in Elon. Elon Musk and his XAI startup have built the largest and most powerful artificial intelligence training supercomputer in the world. Elon has named this beast Colossus. It is equipped with the latest NVIDIA GPU hardware, it's liquid-cooled with vast amounts of water, and is powered by giant Tesla Megapack batteries. Elon believes that all of- Whoa, 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 hold on. Didn't I tell you that in the last video, guys? So when I said the last video, if you checked out the previous video when I was talking about the Megapacks, in the data centers most people probably would have said in the comment section like hey hold on though they don't do it they don't do it and this is where they do do it in a data center elon utilized it at xai so even though that's a different business tesla still benefits from it because what it sells xai the company it's mega packs that power the actual computing power let's get it man shout out to elon of this combined will create the world's most powerful artificial intelligence, one that will literally solve the mysteries of the universe. And what we see today is only the beginning. This is what's inside Colossus. The location is Memphis, Tennessee, in an industrial park southwest of the city center on the bank of the mighty Mississippi River. The building itself wasn't constructed by XAI. It was previously home to Electrolux, which is a Swedish appliance manufacturer. So if you've been wondering why Elon chose Memphis and not Austin, it basically just comes down to finding the right building in the right location to get this thing up and running. Now, I wish I would have sold him the building or rented it out to him. I don't know if he bought it, so possibly a rent. So I wish I would have rented him out that building, but let's continue fast as possible. Now, as unassuming as the exterior of Colossus might be, it's what's inside that counts. And inside is the largest AI training cluster in the world. Currently, over 100,000 NVIDIA HTX H100 GPUs connected with exabytes of data storage over a super fast network. NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang has said himself that Colossus is, quote, easily the fastest supercomputer on the planet. And it was... So you guys love NVIDIA. As I always say, because a lot of people love in the video because the stock is high, but also maybe they were invested in it prior. So I'm not going to hold them only to the stock being high. But net net, if the CEO of NVIDIA said it, hmm, does that make it a little bit interesting to you now? It's all built to power Grok, an AI model that Elon Musk and XAI will evolve into something far more capable than a simple chatbot. This is the breeding ground for artificial super intelligence. The entire facility as we see it was built in just 122 days. That is insane. A more traditional supercomputer cluster would have just one half to one quarter the amount of GPUs as Colossus, but the construction of those traditional systems would take years from start to finish. To start to finish would take years, not even for the same size, but it took Elon 122 days. But I guess he's not the GOAT and he's not a legend and I'm a fanboy. Forget the results. The training work happens in an area called the Data Hall. XAI uses a configuration known as the raised floor data hall, which splits the system into three levels. Above is the power, below is the cooling, and in the middle is the GPU cluster. There are four data halls inside Colossus, each with 25,000 GPUs plus storage and the fiber optic network that ties it all together. Colossus uses water for liquid cooling. Below the GPU cluster is a network of giant pipes that move vast amounts of water in and out of the facility. 
hot water from the server is sent outside to a chiller which lowers the temperature of the water by a few degrees before pumping it back in. This doesn't necessarily need to be cold water though. Without getting too deep into thermodynamics, just remember that energy always travels from hot to cold. So as long as the temperature of the water is lower than the hardworking GPUs, which get pretty hot, then the excess heat energy will be drawn into the water as it flows past and heat will be removed from the system. Here is what those GPU racks look like. Each tray is loaded with eight NVIDIA H100 GPUs, the current state-of-the-art chip for AI training. Now we're big customers with NVIDIA. NVIDIA loves us. No wonder why the CEO probably talks a little bit of positivity and throws that in Elon's direction. That will change in a relatively short amount of time, and Elon already has plans to upgrade Colossus to the NVIDIA V200 chip when that becomes widely available, but for right now, there's no time to waste. There are eight of these racks built into one cabinet with a total of 64 GPU chips and 16 CPU chips in every vertical stack. Each of the racks has its own independent water cooling system with these small tubes that lead directly into the GPU housing, blue tubes for cold water delivery, and red tubes for hot water extraction. The beauty of these GPU racks built for XAI by Supermicro is that each one can be pulled individually for maintenance, and it's serviceable on the tray. That means the entire cabinet doesn't need to be shut down and disassembled just to replace one chip. The technician can simply pull the rack, perform the service right there on the tray, and then slide it back in and get back to training. See, so get right back to training, which is a good thing, you know? Well, you don't want too much downtime on these actual machines. You want them to be in play, learning, and building up data. Now, don't worry, guys. People are still watching it. Please don't go to sleep. I want you to understand how the strategic benefit and the return on investment from this capital expenditure is going to affect potential shareholders. Now, again, this is not the video where we talked about the benefits of actually the mega pack. We're going to talk about the benefits of the actual ROI and the capital expenditure from that development in Giga Texas, right? And so net net, we're going to get to it. Just I'm going to allow him to finish this end of the video out talking about Colossus. Just a few months ago, that XAI raised $6 billion in venture capital funding, bringing the one year old company to a valuation of $24 billion. That's a lot of money for a young company that only had one basic product on the market at the time, but they did have the richest man in the world at the controls. So Obviously, that counts for a lot. Now, we've just seen reports from the Wall Street Journal that Elon is already looking for a lot more money, enough to bring the value of XAI to $40 billion. For a sense of scale, the industry giant OpenAI is currently valued at $157 billion. While a smaller scale operation like Perplexity, who makes a highly regarded AI search tool, they're expected to soon hit a valuation of $8 billion. As for Grok, the AI chatbot is continuing to rapidly evolve thanks to new power provided by Colossus. Just recently, Grok was upgraded to include vision capabilities, meaning that the AI can analyze and comprehend input from images alongside its existing text functions. This new feature is integrated into the X social media platform for premium users. Now when you- Now that's right in line with the market, okay? So that's pretty good. You see an image in a post, you can click a button to send that image to Grok, where you can now ask the AI any question you want about the content of that image. Grok can analyze or provide additional context. This is an important step for XAI on their path towards achieving artificial general intelligence. That's a big buzz term right now. It basically just means an AI that can do pretty much anything. Essentially, an artificial reproduction of the human mind and its incredible versatility. We can write words, we can make music, we can solve complex problems, invent new things. In theory, an artificial general intelligence would have all of the knowledge of the entire human race, all concentrated into one super powerful computer brain, making it infinitely smarter than any human being then the AGI can use that knowledge to learn even more, to discover the undiscoverable, solve the unsolvable, invent the uninventable. According to Elon Musk, this is how we unlock the mysteries of the universe and the very nature of our own existence. Or you don't believe him. I believe him. I think he's making sense. Now, again, what does this have to do with Tesla investors and shareholders? Now, I did say that it was still connected, right, guys? It's still connected because we sold them, what, mega packs. So that's pretty interesting. Now, let's talk about the data center, right? The data center that's in Giga, Texas. That's going to be important, too. Both projects represent substantial capital expenditure, but aligned with Tesla and XAI's long-term strategic goals. These investments enhance Tesla's ability to develop autonomous technologies and provide competitive advantages in AI training and data processing. And from a shareholder's perspective, the facilities can generate returns through improved AI capabilities, FSD, and then of course XAI, and reducing reliance on third-party solutions. So that's vertical integration when we can have the solution within-house. And we could possibly potentially license out our solutions. And 
opening revenue streams through AI services and data center leasing, or also, as you saw, the leasing or sale of the data mega pack, or excuse me, the data centers need mega packs for their energy demand. So we have that as an avenue. The integration of NVIDIA's GPUs underscores the potential for significant value generation as AI continues to permeate industries. In summary, these initiatives reflect visionary execution of resource optimization, creating both immediate technological advantages and potential financial returns for stakeholders. Now, this innovative capacity reinforces Tesla's and XAI's position as leaders in AI and technology development. Guys, don't turn your back and bet against Elon. As I always say, Elon for the win. Now, it's easy to hate Tesla, but it's hard to deny these facts, okay? And at the end of the day, this makes sense across the board. Not only is the data center being built out of Memphis, Tennessee, and it could have good return on investments, the same thing with the data center in Austin. So as long as we continue to have these capital expenditures and get good return on investment, sounds good to us. And again, the business that XAI is doing, <laughs> we're selling the mega packs. So that's still good for Tesla investors. Guys, I'll see you in the next one. I don't think nobody else is diving into the details and finding out how we have this added value strategy. Now, you don't see it on the financials as of right now. I mean, well, energy department is doing pretty good, right? It has growth consecutively in this quarter. But net net going forward, it's going to grow even more. And I can't wait into the AI investment shows on the financial spreadsheet. Ooh, that's going to be a good day for Tesla. I see you guys on the next one. Like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can get this hot electricity. And everybody knows it's electric. Boogie, woogie, woogie.